Hey Nolly. <laughs> Ready for breakfast. So I just cleaned her side. <laughs> now I gotta clean these two little varmint side. Cause the hair is <laughs> What are you doing, Chip? <laughs> Pimp Daddy, you ready to go out? Yeah. So he has a conundrum bed that he loves so much. He decided, you know, he's going to dig it. So we have a new uh, fabric on order. Wait for... Go see Daddy. Go on. You see, she won't without me. Such a little terror. I got to go, Mom. I'm gonna clean out these guys' kennels. Uh, vacuum up all the hair, whatnot. They're all shedding, so it's bound to happen. Bound to happen, huh? Oops. You can see Diesel still steals everybody's blankets. He kind of. His ball. done but and then I'll take his little snap on dishes out because when he drinks he's got a lot of little floaties in there so I'll clean and then I also have to take a rag and go around and they're they're powder coated black powder coated so we never get rust like the water goes in here and even if water splashes on the bottom it doesn't rust it gets dusty so I just wash it wipe it down with warm water and soap and it comes real clean if it gets too hot they have their ACs if it's New Hampshire weather if it's cold they have their their heat and yeah you never know living in New Hampshire so let's clean if you want to just come and do an inspection see how good good I'm doing giving me some moral support saying hi to Nolly okay so room is all cleaned I even spot washed the spot for Maggie so Maggie has all her bones too they fall underneath so she forgets about them but everything's clean these are thick stall mats right here and so they're they're really heavy 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 to get in here but I love them because it gives enough room for their cadundra beds and then they have their stall mats um, so that's Maggie's and then Diesel um, he did rip his cadundra bed he's our chewer he loves to dig so he dug that through that's why he has to have his clip bowls for water and food but he has his blankets he's been sleeping on well um, I already ordered it because um, I have the pro cadundra so I get stuff discounted because I buy more so it's diesels and then Nala's I did clean first while she was downstairs visiting and uh, seeing everybody so right now she's enjoying her bone that I found for her so she's all clean too so I think it's getting kind of warm so I think I'm gonna turn on their AC for them because uh, it tends to get hot up here and I'll just shut their window and put their AC on low and then so I do shut their blinds too but it didn't take long, but everybody's clean, and I love I love these kennels. I would definitely suggest anybody looking to buy them. Even if you only have a couple dogs and you work or something and you don't want to put them in small kennels while you're at work or what may be the case, these are great. Because you can see, she's a big girl, and she's in on her bed. That's a big bed. And then she's got plenty of room if she wants to lay on the floor, she wants to get up and walk around. They can see each other so they can socialize. Um, the, this mat is a f three by six, uh, the stall mat, and I got those at Tractor Supply. So this is eight foot. It leaves a couple of feet for their cadundra bed. So I'm going to shut their window and leave their AC on to keep it cool in here. Because when they, they play outside, they come in, they're hot. So, and I mostly just uh, open their window at night and, and let the the cool air come in but we are we do have a road by us so you see this gets really dusty in here so it's not only hairy it gets dusty so it doesn't take too much to clean what do you think everything look good now I gotta 
wait for Diesel's replacement vinyl to come in and then he'll have his bed back too. I already ordered it last week when he tore it up. But eh, I think it cost me 19 bucks for the replacement and then I had to pay shipping because I'm part of their pro, pro plan. I think it's what it's called. I'm not very really sure. But because I order stuff more frequently through them, I get a discount. What do you think, Fion? Looks good? All right. Hi, Ellie. What do you got, little muskrat? She got string across her face. Ellie's her best friend. She puts up with her well. Oh, she found some foam from some toy that got demolished out here. Beaver! Eva Beaver! She could care less. Busy hunting. Always good to you. Oh, she's going to get her. Get her. Tell her, Ellie, don't let her bite you. Francesca! He would could care less. Having herself some grass. Enjoying the sun. Good. <laughs> Show her how she does the stairs. She's mastered them. Come on, baby. Good girl, Francesca win with the big girls. That's got the tractor going and that's scary business. <laughs> she after you far? She's a brute. Yeah, she's a brute. Hi, big mama. Hey, big mama. I gotta go collect the eggs. I don't think the chickens are gonna want to see you too. I know. As much as you'd be good at collecting them. Because you do like eggs. <laughs> So I'm going to collect the eggs, but I have a broody hen in here. And she's been on her eggs for a couple weeks. She's always in here. The little ones hang out in here sometimes too, but we have a nest in the back. They, the ducks and chickens both lay back there. And then they do lay in the nest box too. And under the nest box, because that's where the turkeys like to lay. And then I have this girl that's broody, <laughs> and she don't want me near her babies. She's been on these eggs for two weeks steady. Every time I come in, she's in here, and if I go to touch her, she gets pissy. <coughs> Can I just see what you got? Can I just see what you got, girl? She don't let me see what she got. Oh, she's got some. Oh, she's got turkey egg under there too. Okay. All right. I won't touch your egg. So she's got one of the turkey's eggs in there, and a chicken egg is all I saw so far. And that's more than I've seen uh, any times prior, because she gives me that um, subtle get away from me hiss so that usually works to keep me away from her oh and they have to put it underneath the coop so it's harder for me to get so these are chicken this is a duck chicken let's see what else these are all warm that's turkey it's speckled you probably can't see it with the lighting and the other one's a chicken egg so the chickens ducks and turkeys. This is a turk, a duck, and a chicken. That's a blue, really pretty color. So what else? That's a chicken egg. So and then now I get to break my neck and try to get under here and get this ones from this little pretty nest that they made. And these are, let's see, duck and chicken. 
and two ducks. So those are mostly duck eggs in there. And look at that, they build it right up for to put their eggs in. Sometimes if I move it around, I find more. So that's today's haul. Hawking <coughs> comes from her. <coughs> that's Daisy. <laughs> and I did put my black swish, tur uh, my black turkey in here. Those are the three new geese. Hi guys. They're pretty. Yes, Daisy. She's looking for handouts. You stayed right in. I don't know why the other stupid little birds... Look, they think they're getting food, so they're going to try to come back in the net now. It's five, six of them out. Hi, girl. Look at these geese. These are the white Chinese. And um, they're not supposed to get as big as other geese. I just love them. What's up, Queenie? Isn't Queenie fabulous? She's pretty nice. She knows she is. They're all coming around looking for a handout. So last weekend I did get my one panel in that I had bought for my tomatoes. And I got quite a bit of tomatoes in. And these tomatoes are like um, cherry tomatoes and grapevine tomatoes. Sure, Sylvester walked through the garden. So... When I first transplanted them, they looked kind of deadly, but they are starting to come back. So I realized that I need another panel because I have enough space in here to do, some bug just flew into my hair, to do enough um, for more tomatoes. And I bought uh, big boy tomatoes that I wanted because um, the tomatoes that I had purchased, well, that I grew actually, the ones that I grew for regular like, um, sandwich tomatoes I call them didn't do so well so I actually scored some of these for a reasonable price I was pretty uh, happy um, so I think I paid 10 bucks for that and there's six nice sized tomato plants in there so that's that's a steal I think so today I'm going to get my other panel like I said I got these panels at tractor supply for 20 bucks a piece look we got ticks there's one right on my arm um, I love it I hate ticks so I'm gonna get this one in and plant my tomatoes in my garden is done being planted once I get these going so let's do it Already tired. What's up, buddy? Semester. Buddy. So, and then I just zip tie it. in the ground. Let's take a close look. They look pretty good. So I got a couple more spots if I wanted to add something else. But I think I have more tomatoes so I might just uh, plant them but I really am excited to see how it does this year you can see she's getting big 
See that belly? So, I did... Oh, she's going to get him. She loves... She loves getting Farley. Farley's like her best friend. He always has been. They grew up together. <clears throat> huh. 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 So I did check Ebby uh, last night, and her milk is in. So usually milk comes in a week or two before the due date, so maybe she'll have these little babies at the end of June. <clears throat> She doesn't look as big as she normally does, so I don't think she's gonna have 11 or 12, which would be kind of nice. Come on. She likes the tall grass to play the cat. What did that kitty ever do to you, huh? She said nothing. Be nice to Sylvester, he's old. You gonna let those chickens run around loose? I guess so. What are you doing? I gotta go. She knows where she lives. Look at her. What are you doing? Are you afraid of those chickens? Hi, pretty girl. Hi. She's starting to get tall. Is that Eleanor barking? Are you gonna play in those? She's thinking about it. Oh, I hear Dad out there. What are you doing? Hi, huh, little lady. Hey. Hmm. So if you like our videos and you like to see what we're doing here, like this video and subscribe to our channel and you'll get to see more.